This is an instructional video for pitching a lotus bud. Get your lotus bud out of the bag and open out the main section which will form the ground sheet and walls of the tent. Peg out the ground sheet through the small brass eyelets and peg opposite corners, gently pulling out any creases. Next you need to install all the rest of the pegs. Slot together two sections of the black pole to use as a measuring stick to mark out the position for the guy rope pegs. I'm going to set two pegs in for the guy ropes in line with each of the ground sheet pegs. So using the two sections of the pole to measure it, we put one at the end of the pole and one goes a mallet distance in. So one here and one here. Work your way around placing all 16 pegs. Hook on the guy lines either side of the doorway. Assemble all three sections of the black pole and walk in, propping up the roof. Now you can work around hooking the guy lines onto the inner row of pegs. Now you can remove the black pole. In the next step, we're going to be putting down the central mechanism in the middle of the tent. Before you do that, you need to make sure that all the elbows on the wall poles of your tent are pointing outwards. If there's just one pointing in, like this one, you can just push it out. If it's more than one, you may need to go outside your tent and tighten your guy ropes a little. So on your tent you should have a label that's marked uh, set tent up or pull to set tent up. So if you pull it, it should click into place like this. If you find that it's too stiff on the first couple of times you set your tent up, you can just pull on this bit. Or you can pull on this bit here to set it up. The only thing you shouldn't do is be tempted to pull on the poles because that will possibly pull them out of their sockets. So ideally, pull the string. On the latest batch of tents, we've added a tie so that the roof section would already be attached to the top of the tent at this point. But if you're using a first generation bud, you'll need to throw the roof over the top. If necessary, you can poke it over using the black pole. Position it so that the logo sits above the doorway, but don't hook on the guy lines yet. Right, so getting the top pole up onto the top of your tent can be quite stiff, especially the first few times you pitch your tent. So we've worked out this genius contraption called spare guy rope. And what you do is you loop it around the two toggles in the middle of your tent, tighten it up like this, so it's holding on nice and tight. On the other end I've got a loop that I can put my foot through, so like this, which I can use to leverage. So basically, put the pole up into the top of the tent, push down with my foot, and it pulls the centre down whilst I poke the top up. It's still tight, but it's reassuring. And then also you can pull on your foot whilst you twist it get it to go up as high as you possibly can. Loosen it off, take your foot out, take the toggle off, done. The final step is just to tighten up all the guy ropes around your tent, so hooking on the roof guy ropes onto the outer ring of pegs and then tightening the wall guy ropes as you make your way around. Affixing the awning is simple. Attach the toggles to the loops above the doorway and stick down the velcro flap. Use two sections of the black pole to prop the front up and peg out as I'm showing here. Okay, so it took us about, well it took me about 20 minutes, 15 minutes to put the whole tent up. But as anyone who's been camping before will know, the most important thing is when you want to leave and you want to take your tent down quickly. So now I'm going to show you how fast this tent comes down. 